Hi, I'm David. Have you ever wondered why eating and bending over makes you so short of breath? If so, you're going to really like this video. Also, I just wanted to take a moment to thank you so much for supporting this channel. Please continue to like and subscribe to our videos and the channel, and that will really help get the word out to help other people just like you get the information that they need. So let's talk about stomach distension and diaphragm restriction. And what that simply means is as you eat, the stomach expands, it distends, not only outward, but also upward. And what happens is that upward distension pushes against the diaphragms and it restricts their movements. And how that impacts your breathing is when the diaphragms push up, they become pressed against the lungs and they push the lungs up. So now the amount of air that you can get into the lungs is much less because of that distension of the stomach. Another issue is dietary. So carbohydrates and breathing. So what happens is carbohydrates, carbs, convert into carbon dioxide, CO2, during digestion. And since we know that pulmonary related shortness of breath is influenced by two key factors, low oxygen and high carbon dioxide, that will really attribute to that. So a high carb meal such as pasta or bread, and before you get too upset, I completely understand how the struggle is very real. I'm Italian. I love pasta. I love bread. I actually like having pasta and bread together. I know it's tough, but those two can really increase your CO2 levels. And that can really contribute to shortness of breath, like we talked about earlier. Now, carbs aren't the only cause, but they do play a significant role in after-meal breathing difficulties. So the recommendation for that is, and again, I'm not a nutritionist, but the recommendation is to space out high-carb meals to avoid overloading the body with carbon dioxide. And since I'm not a professional in that arena, I'd like you to consult with one. So talk to your doctor, talk to a nutritionist, because they can give you personalized advice, especially if that issue continues to persist. Now, another one is the impact of bending over. So let's say, and I'm sure you've all experienced this, you bend over to tie your shoes, you bend over to make the bed, any of that, that really cause, or even pick something off the floor. Those really cause shortness of breath. So when that happens, again, it's the same cycle. The, you're bending over, the, it pushes up on the diaphragms, it pushes up on the lungs, and it really restricts everything, and it makes it very, very difficult to breathe. So any activity that restricts that is going to not only push up and make it difficult to breathe, it's going to be uncomfortable. It's almost like putting on like a strap or a belt across your chest and across your stomach. It's hard. So if bending over to pick something up is challenging, then maybe use one of those grabbers. Or I'm going to show you right over here how to bend over and keep your midsection straight because that's very important. So now I'm going to show you two ways to be able to bend over and really minimize the stomach pushing up on your lungs. I want you to hold on to something steady and think of your body as a seesaw. So you're gonna do opposite arm, opposite leg. So I'm gonna hold on, I'm gonna raise my right leg but reach down with my left hand. So you're gonna reach down, lifting this leg up like a seesaw, grabbing whatever you need, come on back up. And that's gonna help really reduce pressing your stomach up and compressing your lungs, but it also is going to keep a lot less pressure on your low back. Your back will thank you. The next one is a hip driven movement. And what you're going to do is you're going to make sure your feet are nice and square and you're going to use your hips to get down. Hold on to something steady, come down and don't lean forward because you could fall forward. Lean back a little bit so your weight is in your heels and come down and then blow out and come up. I'm gonna show you one more time. Using your hips, lean back a little bit, come down, and then blow and lift, and come up. Those are the two methods that will help you pick something up without affecting your breathing that much, and also saving your back. 
Another thing is to reduce bending when you're doing chores by either doing them seated. Let's say you're going to bend over and go do something. Maybe you could put the object that you're working on on a table and you could sit and have it at chest height and work there. Or let's say you're doing something outside. Grab a stool, sit down and try to do that. It's really important to try to keep your midsection straight. Another one is, let's say, tying your shoes. You could put your leg up on a chair or on a stairs to try to tie your shoes instead of bending all the way over and reaching for that. So I hope these tips and tricks helped. I hope it gave you some explanation of why you're short of breath after you eat and also why you bend over. If you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment below. I love hearing your questions. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited to share this information with you. Have a great day. I'm really proud of you. And I'll see you in the next video.